Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing The Fever Code by James Dashner. The Fever Code is actually the second prequel that James Dashner has written for his Maze Runner series. And this is definitely my favorite of the two. I want to start off by saying that this is a spoiler free review. The book follows Thomas's life after he's been taken by Wicked. We get to see what Wicked was like through his eyes before and after the maze trials begin. We also learn how involved Thomas actually was in the construction of the maze. This book answered a lot of my questions about Wicked and Thomas's involvement with them and the maze. And it also showed us Thomas's true feelings about Wicked before he entered the maze. But it also raised a couple more questions for me about Teresa and Erez, but mainly Teresa. The book was actually slower than I expected. I didn't actually start getting into the story until like 190 pages in when the maze trials finally started. And I also thought Thomas was going to play a bigger role in the creation of the maze. So I was a little bit disappointed about that, but I did love seeing how he made friends with Teresa and Newt, Meanhone and Albie and Galley and Chuck and all of them. I just, I loved seeing all those characters again and as little kids, even though they didn't seem like little kids because they had to grow up quickly as anyone would have to in this situation. When I read The Maze Runner, I didn't get attached to a couple of the side characters like Albie and Galley and Frypan and Ben, but after reading this book, I feel a much bigger attachment to those characters. And I think if I ever reread the series, I would start with The Fever Code. However, if you haven't read the Maze Runner series, I don't recommend you read The Fever Code first because it does contain some mild spoilers. As for my writing for this book, even though it was slow, I really did enjoy it and I gave it a solid 4 out of 5 stars. Well, that's it for my review on The Fever Code. Sorry this review wasn't very detailed, but I tried my hardest to keep as many spoilers as I could out. Before I end this video, if you guys don't know, there is a Crack the Fever Code competition type thing going on on Twitter where you have to have the UK edition, which I'm very sad about. But the cover of that book, there's a code on it that will take you to a website. And on the website, there are three questions. And you have to decode the messages they posted on Twitter to answer these questions. As you can see, I don't have the UK version of the fever code, but I did find a picture and found the website you go to to enter the answers. So I'm going to leave that website in the description box below and if you get on Twitter using the hashtag CrackTheFeverCode then you will see that they have three different word scrambling things posted and Benjamin Atome has the key posted on his page. Once you get on the website you'll see a page like this and then it'll tell you right away if you don't have the answers right or not. And then this will pop up if you get the answers right. So it'll take you to like an exclusive little short story type thing that James Dashner wrote about Ben. As far as I know, that's the only short story that's been released. I'm not sure if more are going to be released or not. And I haven't read it yet. I plan to as soon as I finish this video. As far as I know, you only needed the UK edition to find the website. You shouldn't have any problems solving these little codes. So if you guys are just up for the challenge or if you actually want to learn more about the fever code, like I said, the website is going to be down in the description box below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!